What's up everyone, it's Dark Viper and I am in a game called Booga Booga and I'm sure you've heard of it before, I've heard of it before, I just never really played it. I think I actually tried it like once or twice, um, I think it was like maybe a couple years ago or over a year ago. I think it was at least over a year ago, Jeez, it's been a while. But this video is not about Booga Booga, this video is about auto clickers and macro tools. So we're going to use Booga Booga for our demo of how to use these tools. So this video is dedicated to PC users, so if you are a mobile user, a Mac user, or an iOS user, unfortunately, you're kind of out of luck. However, I've got something for you. So for Android users, you can check out the link in the description to my Berry Farm auto clicker for Android. It shows you how to set up an auto clicker on Android. Um, iOS users, unfortunately, you are stuck with tinfoil and spoons. Um, you're gonna have to Google that. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. It's too scientific for me. Maybe I'll make a video of that one day, okay? If you want, really want me to do it, I will do it. And then as far as Mac users, I do not have a Mac. But So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a little compromise, okay, Mac users? For Mac users, I am going to link in the description to a couple of auto clickers for Mac to some other videos that I have not created. Um, it's unusual for me to link to other people's videos, especially non-gaming, unless it's like a friend. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you just because I really don't want you left out. So if you're a Mac user, check out the link in the description on how to set up your macros. But you can continue to watch the video on basic principles of how to use these tools because if you find a macro tool or an auto clicker on Mac, you can pretty much use the same principles that I'm gonna show you in these games. So I am going to start out in Booga Booga with some auto clickers and, and macros, and then I'm gonna go over to some simulators afterwards. And so let's go. So first thing, I'm actually in Booga Booga. I am horribly noob in this game. So don't expect anything awesome from me. Um, but we're gonna, I just kind of landed on this island. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is imagine I wanted to auto click this. Now, one thing about this game, so if you look, I can actually hold down and it goes pretty fast, right? So I'm just holding down the left button. So you don't really need an auto clicker in this game so much, but you can use it. So like, you know, you can use a macro tool to keep the left mouse down, or you can also macro movement. So like if these things were to respawn often or like inside islands, formerly known as skyblocks, you know, you'd have ore and stuff. And if you remember watching my videos on how to, you know, use like the auto pickaxe and stuff like that, you can actually macro movement. Yeah, so this is perfect. So in this case, I can either sit here and hold down the left mouse button, or what if I wanna get up and go like watch television in another room, or I wanna, you know, just kick my feet up and use my phone for a bit. What you can do is you can use a tool like an auto clicker. So I've got one auto clicker here. This one's called OP auto clicker. This is pretty much my preferred auto clicker um, for anything just clicking. But this right here is your most common and easily used auto clicker that's out there. And I think it's one of the most reliable. I use it all the time, especially if you like don't wanna disconnect. So like for example, when I have my alts, I use an auto clicker so that my alt doesn't disconnect while I'm working on their island. So what I'll do is I'll log in an alt on my laptop and then I'll give my main access to to be able to work on that island. So the cool thing about that is all I gotta do is to make sure my alt doesn't disconnect from being idle too long as I run an auto clicker on my laptop so he never disconnects. So as long as the auto clicker is clicking somewhere in the game client, then you won't disconnect. Um, some people have said like, you know, you can actually do like a dance emote or something like that to stay uh, to stay connected. I haven't had that work yet. Um, I have yet to get that to work and it could be avatar specific, I'm not sure. The other thing you could do in this is you can see right here, there's the uh, milliseconds. So so there's a time click interval. So you can do it based on hours. So maybe you want something to click once an hour, you know, once a minute or once an hour and a half or particular seconds, all the way down to the milliseconds. You can go really quick. You can go down to like one millisecond. It's gonna kill your computer a bit, um, but you can go really, really low at that. 100 milliseconds is pretty much good for everything that you're gonna do. But if you wanna try to get that little edge, you can just, you know, bring it down to 10 milliseconds. So I'm gonna go and show you how to use this on this tree, even though you can hold down on this, it's the same principle. So I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna do it on the rocks over here. Let's go do over on the rocks and let's hit start. So it's F6 for start. And then you need to make sure you know what's the stop key before you start something. Right here, you can see the start. So I'm gonna hit F6. And now I can go and use my phone for a bit while this is, you know, going. And that's just a really, really cool way to simplify your life a little bit. On top of that, if you're playing like a AFK simulator, like a anime fighting simulator, or if you're using, maybe you're playing like, or if you're playing like my restaurant or anything like that, you can actually just auto click, which is kind of nice because you can, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna make so much more money in those games being AFK, including like a tapping simulator or anything like that. So that's my recommendation for an auto clicker. And you can see, you could actually just sit here, see how this guy responds. You can actually sit here, but see how he drops stuff. And I had to use the F key. Well, this doesn't do key presses. 
So you're gonna need key presses, right? In order to be able to actually pick up some stuff. And you know, right here, see it says F. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is Tiny Task. I use this a lot. I talk about it a lot too. I'm gonna show you a full tutorial on how to use this thing. So I do use this a lot. You need to be careful about where you get it. I do link to portableapps.com, which is a good place for you to get it. Some antivirus may not like this because it can actually technically record your keystrokes. It's non-malicious, so it can actually log your keys because it's a macro recorder. So you just need to be really, really careful about where you get this tool. I've never had any issues with it. I run antivirus checks on everything. I have zero viruses. Granted, there's a lot of antivirus scanners out there. Some can detect things that others cannot. So you do need to be careful. McAfee, you know, like Norton, all those cleared this file. So all the stuff that I'm showing you right now is linked in the description. So you're not going to have any, you know, don't try to Google it yourself. Just go through the description. So that way you don't end up on some virus filled website. So there's a couple functions here. It's super, like, I love how portable this thing is. It's so cool. I never mess with the EXE. For some reason, the EXE doesn't work for me very well. Some, for some reason, I can't control it as well. I like seeing this because I can control it. So the first thing you want to do is just check your prefs because you need to get familiar with these. Um, here, you see how it's, it's, it's unchecked for continuous playback. You're going to want to check that right away. Just make sure that's checked so that when you play it back, it, it loops because otherwise it's not going to loop if that's not checked. You're going to like run it and it's going to run once and you're going to be like, why did I get disconnected? You know, or why did it not work? Because it's just only playing it once. So just make sure continuous playback is checked. And then here are the two hotkeys that you need to worry about. So I've set my recording hotkey to F8, but by default, it is control shift alt R, right? So you want to make sure, I mean, you can do whatever you want here. I like F8 because I don't know about you, but having to use my pinky, my, my index finger and all that stuff to get alt, you know, shift alt R <laughs> to record, it not only slows down my recording because then I got to like, you know, get all those keys right. Sometimes I mess it up. You know, it's just really, really awkward. Plus the shift key is usually the sprint key. So suddenly when you're recording, you see that big sprint kind of like the camera zooms in and out. Um, like in, and like in Skyblocks, you'd have that, that camera zoom in and out. It's just looked a little weird. So I use F8, but for playback, you can leave it as control shift alt P if you want to, or you can make it F12. The problem with F12 is F12 is already used a lot on mine. And I really don't want to be using print screen because it's going to it's going to keep taking screenshots each time. So I just leave it as control shift alt P. And then for my recording, I use F8. Now it is a toggle. So what this F8 means is you start the recording with F8 and then you end the recording with F8. Same for playback. You start the recording with uh, control shift alt P and you end the playback with control shift alt P. So pay attention to these very carefully. Make sure you set them up correctly before you begin anything. So now that we know that I'm actually going to go ahead and just this is going to go away. But when it's recording, I'm going to actually I've got another monitor here. So I'm going to slide that off the screen so I can keep an eye on that recording um, icon. Let's assume I'm, I want to like hit this and then I want to hit F. I want to spam F to pick up anything. So because we know that if, by breaking the trees, it drops some cubes down here. So we're going to move our camera up like this. And it's not going to be perfect because I don't know this game very well, but it's going to be pretty close. So I'm just going to get up like real close right here so that when the items fall, they're going to be like in view in view of this, right? So I'll be like, let's see, I'll do something like this. And then I'll, I'll record me hitting and then hitting some F while I'm doing this. So I'm hitting, I'm spamming the F key and moving the mouse back and forth like that, right? So now I'm going to go and record those actions and then I'm going to stop the recording when I'm done. And I can hit F8 because it's just going to loop that. I don't have to do it for like an hour. You don't have to record the whole session. It's just going to repeat exactly what I just did. So if I wanted to infinitely repeat that, I'll, it'll do that. So I just I just finished that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring this back down. I'm going to save this out and we're going to call it uh, Booga because I don't have any other good name. So that way you have the script. Anytime you want to just run it again, you can. And you just got to remember your angle here because the, it's going to be the same mouse movement. So we're going to keep it about that. And we're going to play it back. So all you got to do is just do your, you know, remember the playback key is Control, Shift, Alt, plus P. So we're going to go ahead and play this back. And I'm not touching the mouse right now. That's 100% auto. See how it's picking stuff up already for me? And it'll just loop this all night. So if anything were to respawn right here, it would... Oh, look, I got it. <laughs> nice. I didn't even touch it. That was that was completely macroed. So you'll want to do Control Shift Alt P to stop that. So let's go ahead and do this one because this one sounds like this one's going to give us some cool stuff. So you basically do a similar angle to the tree. So let's assume it's like right here. And I'm going to go ahead and play it. And it's just going to keep you know repeating. Now you do need to check anytime you play any kind of Roblox game check with the developers, check with the moderators, check with the Discord, check with the community. Make sure you're allowed to use macros. Now, in my checking of macros being allowed in this game, it looks like they are. You know, in a game like this, you would have to also auto your food apparently, or you're going to die, right? So I'll show you how to do that as well. Assuming you have like a ton of food. And of course, with the hillside, all these things fell down, but you know, so you're going to have to just remember, you know, you're not going to do it. Other, you're not going to be able to do this on a hill because the objects are going to fall down, but you can do it on trees. You can do it on any flat surfaces, but say you 
you had a ton of food. You would just basically auto open your inventory and eat that object. All right, so we're gonna use tiny task again to do this automatically. Um, so say you're working on something really big. I'm assuming there's like a really big object here. I don't know, but imagine you're playing a game that does have a big object that's gonna take a while. So maybe it's like 10,000 hits or something and you can farm it overnight. Um, so like this tropical tree, what you could do is you're gonna wanna like automate the entire pro process. So we're gonna bring tiny task back up and we're gonna record. I'm gonna move that off screen. I'm not gonna record this entire sequence. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it and then I'm hitting the F key. Like I said, I'm doing like broad strokes of the uh, mouse to be able to get a lot of range of where those things are gonna fall. And then say like, you know, two minutes later, say this is a really heavy object and I'm dying, like I'm starving. You can take a moment, just go over here to your inventory, click, click on the food thing to make sure you're on the correct tab. Click that, eat, eat, go back over there, close, and then repeat. And I just stopped the recording. So I'm gonna go and play that back. But if it took like, you know, five minutes, this is a good example of what we're talking about. So you see, go over there, click the tab. I'm not even doing this. This is all 100% automated right now. You eat, close, and you repeat the process. And it's automatically gonna loop it. So you're never really gonna starve in this game um, by automating that. Now I'm gonna show you a different tool in case you're like, well, Dark, I don't really like hot, you know, I don't really wanna use tiny tasks because I'm worried about it. I don't like it. I've heard some rumors it's got viruses or whatever. Um, there's another alternative um, tool if you're worried about it called Pullover Macro. And it actually, I use both. So I actually use Pullover for very predictable because Pullover Macro Creator is actually legit like an actual scripting tool. So the, so the unfortunate thing about this is it's like all compiled already. So when you save out your script, there's no way for me to like edit, like do it five times at this speed or anything like that. Cause all the actions are compiled into a script that's not human readable, you know, language. If you wanted to be able to have more control over your macro creator, I would definitely recommend uh, pullover because I use that for so many things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and load that up right now. And it looks like this when you first open it up, it might actually have like a default script as well. You can just go and close it. So I close this, that's just the welcome tab. And there might already be a script, just close it. And the first thing I'm gonna tell you is pay very close attention attention to these two things right here. See how it says play F3 and uh, F4 for stop. Now F4 is the only one that's gonna work for some reason, and I don't know why, F3 does not work for me. It does not play for me. I always have to hit this, see this blue button right here, this blue chevron. I always have to play it with this. I can't get it to start with the F3. I do not know why. This It's been like this since I've started using this tool and it's just something funky with this. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's a conflict or something. But the stop key does work. So if you're like, well, as soon as you start the script, make sure sure you know the stop key that you can configure and you can change it if you're like I don't like that one I want it to be F8 then you can click in there and just hit F8 and then just click out and then now it's set to F8 we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you how to do a few things so instead of me recording my actions now you can do that you can actually record your actions you can hit that record button and then just you know and then you can stop the recording um, you can do all that kind of stuff it takes a little getting used to how to you know it's kind of it's not as easy as tiny task for sure but what I like to do is I like to just manually script it you have all your like little buttons over here. So you see right here, it says mouse, it has text, it has control. Um, you have all these options for things you can do. So in my case, say I wanna hold down the mouse button, you can click the little mouse here and then look at all the options here you can do. You can say click, move, you know, move is basically moving your mouse around. You can move and click, so it can actually be moving and clicking at the same time. You can do mouse wheel up. So if you wanna scroll up, maybe you're using like a like a inventory selector or something, or you want it to scroll up or down. Um, drag and drop is kinda cool. There's a different functions here you can do. And then you can also put a delay in here. So how fast do you want it to repeat? So I'm gonna go ahead and say, we're gonna do a left hold down and ascend so that it can just stay down. And then we're going to delay it really, really long. So we're gonna say, give us a long delay on that. And let's go over, oh, I'm gonna about to die. And I'm gonna go and run this. And if you see, it's it's just, it's it's acting like I'm holding it down the entire time. I don't know why it pauses every now and then, but it's essentially a mouse left down. So now we're over here, I'm gonna go ahead and say, what if you wanted to do like a auto clicker? Similar to the first auto clicker, you would just do something like this. So you click the mouse button here. And then once this is up, you would essentially just do no no different here. We're just doing a left click, right? With a 10 millisecond delay. And then the problem with this is it's only gonna play once. So if I were to do this right now, it would only play it once. So what we need to do is you need to select what you wanna loop and then it's and then you go to commands and then select loop or you can hit F9. So F9 
and it'll ask you some options. You know, do you want anything? You just click okay. And basically see as long as the commands that you want to have looped is in between loop start and end, then it's gonna it's gonna loop whatever's inside. So if I were to move this out of that, see how it's left click and then it loops, you would never, you would only left click once because it's not gonna loop it. It's only gonna loop what's inside here. So you need to make sure all your commands are inside here. So say you wanted to loop a left click and the F key so that you're clicking and doing the left mouse button over and over and over. So like if you wanted to make it so that you were like spamming the F key and the left click at the same time, you can right click and then insert keystroke and then select the key that you want us to repeat. So we're gonna just do F and we're gonna put uh, zero delay. So we want it to be immediate. Then we're gonna close. And if it's and if your computer's lagging, you can put in more delays. You can just go and say, okay, well my computer's lagging so I can only do it every 100 milliseconds and you can do the same for your left click. So it won't be like super, super fast. It'll be fast, but it won't be super fast. Then that'll keep, that'll give your computer a chance to breathe a little bit because if it's too fast, it, it's just gonna die. But you can see if I were to, if I were to move the F out of here, it's gonna just loop the left click, but it's only gonna hit F once. In this case, we want it to run the left click and the F key at the same time. And the cool thing about this is you don't actually have to AFK this. So I can actually click this and play and I can be active playing with this. So I'm gonna show you that. And we're gonna hit play. And right now it's actually, so I can I can play actively like this. Make sure this is set back to infinite or else it's not gonna loop. And so you can use these auto clickers while you're active too. That way you're not actually clicking, you're just kind of moving your mouse over stuff. Um, and if you wanted to AFK it, you could, but here's the other powerful thing. You, you can actually combine both tiny task and this. So what if you just want a tiny task to like move the mouse or move your character, you could do that. And to record it, you're just gonna go and click this and it's gonna give you a little window. So start to start recording, press the record hotkey. It's F8 to start, F8 to stop recording. So we're gonna go ahead and hit F8. And it's recording now. And so what we can do is click inside the game and just move our mouse. And then you can do this and spam the F key and move your mouse around. And then we're gonna hit F8 to stop this recording. And going back over to pullover macro and you can just access that anytime by going to your bottom bar here near your clock. Just expand that and that's the macro icon. That's how you open this window back up. So if it goes into that mode, just go back to your bar right here and then just double click it to open the window. So you can see here, I've got all these recordings here and you can see the mouse, it's a left mouse move and click and then it shows I'm hitting the F, F down key and it's pausing for a little bit. So these are, these are the delays in between these actions that I did. So you could go through here and clean up like the speed of my F, like if you kind of messed up on your F keys, maybe you were too slow. Like even this delay, like this 94 delay is kind of a bit much, so you can just double click it. You can say, well, no, I want it to be 20 milliseconds. I want this one to be 20 milliseconds. So you can fully edit your script, which is really, really cool. Um, and so you can actually share these scripts with friends. But here you see it's not gonna loop because I have a loop up here. So what we're gonna wanna do is yank that out. So we just delete our old script from above it. And then we're gonna, I'm just gonna control A to select everything. Or you can use select all. So you can go to select and then all. And then we're gonna go to commands and hit that loop again. So we're gonna insert a loop and it's just gonna be an infinite loop. And now everything in between the loop is going to loop. And now I'm playing it and you see the mouse is automatically moving now and it's going really fast. And it's just gonna loop it over and over and over. And apparently I moved inside the script. So if you see that error, see how I don't want that movement. I don't want them to move forward like that. What you could do is you can go it, you know, back in and say, okay, where did I move up? So A, A up, so that's, yeah. So I can't, I don't wanna be pressing A. So you just need to remove those lines. So your character's not moving. You just need to scroll through, see if you have any other areas that you're moving forward. And it doesn't look like it. So we can go back and play. Now my character's not gonna move forward when I'm done. And you can use the same kind of recording method as tiny tasks. So if you remember when I went into eat, automatically, you can use the same tool. And now the other thing I wanna mention is the pause button here um, is F12 for the script. So you can hit, so you can go ahead and hit pause using the F12 key on your keyboard. And you see right here how it's paused. You can just double click that to unpause it and it'll stop it completely. Um, and that is whatever over here is pause. So if like F3 or F8 is not working for you for these, um, just, just go and hit the pause button and it'll pause the macro for you so you can at least get out of it. Cause otherwise if you're stuck in this like this wacky infinite loop, your computer's probably gonna, you're probably gonna have to like hard reboot your computer if you can't stop it. So hit that pause button using F12. So I think we're done in this game. I'm gonna show you some stuff in Bubblegum Sim real quick. All right, so we're inside Bubblegum Sim. So say you wanted to actually like auto hatch in this game. Um, and of course, you know, I'd, I'd definitely recommend still buying the auto hatch pass if you can. At least the multi hatch, you should at least get the multi hatch. Let's see, where's the latest egg? I'm just gonna go find a random egg over here. So at this one, I'm gonna show you how to do this with tiny task. I'm going to go ahead and uh, record a sequence of events. So I'm going to 
hit the R key three times and you'll probably want to do like 30 or 40, however long, however big your inventory is because you might fill up faster or later depending on how many pets you have. And you're going to basically go through this and hatch it a bunch and then you're going to delete any non-legendaries and then you're going to continue to repeat this process of opening multiple eggs or however, if you don't have this pass, then it'll just be one egg. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit uh, F8 to start the recording and then I'm going to hit R and I'm going to actually continue to spam R so that it finishes quickly. The other thing I would suggest, because I used to play this game a lot, spam the left click on the this button down here where it says skip. It'll actually help you. And on top of that, you're getting bubbles. Look, it actually speeds it up completely. Look how fast that is. It's kind of a, that's kind of my trick. I used to get about 60,000 hatches per day. Look how fast I went. And then, and then you're gonna, you're gonna pause a moment to make sure there's no laggy hatches. You're gonna go to items. You're gonna delete, click yes. And then you're gonna click on this. Don't click the X, click that. And then you're gonna stop the recording and you're gonna loop it. And this is fully looped right now. This is fully just, it's playing out exactly what I did. See how the mouse moved down there? And now I'm spamming, clicking, and I'm getting bubbles at the same time. Now, don't worry about my bubble cam and stuff I, I don't have any pets equipped i only have two right now and you'll see it's going to go through and it's going to auto delete and then you're going to continue and it's just going to keep going in this case i didn't have continuous loop open so if you can see it only ran it once because i didn't have continuous playback on but if you wanted it to loop you would just make sure that's that's checked now the other thing is if you wanted to use some other script you could um, this is the only one that really works for my screen because of my my keyboard inputs. You can use Pullover. Pullover works for some of my uh, computers, but for some reason in this mode in particular, it doesn't like the size of things. Another thing, another cool thing you could do is say you want to like auto farm like chess or something in a game. So say there's like this magic chess, kind of angle yourself up like this, and we're gonna open Tiny Task up again. We're gonna record some movement. So we're gonna start right here. And I'm gonna start recording, and then we're gonna go right left. But just make sure when you loop it, you're in the same spot where you started. Now you know for an hour chess. It doesn't really help, but you can do it on the 15 minute chest. Those are way better. So it'd be better to do something like this instead, like this chest right here. That's a 30 minute chest. Then you could leave this overnight and you're catching a lot more chests than usual. So you just go back and forth automatically and you can farm chests this way. Um, jumping doesn't really work for me on these chests. And I think it's because you're already in the collider or something. I'm not really sure. So for me, I always had to go outside of it and then back in. Um, but certain games will do it that way. So you could just kind of auto jump with this tool as well. So you don't have to do anything weird with staplers or any kind of weights on your butt buttons or keys or anything like that. Um, you can just use these tools. So I'm going to show you how to use auto soft auto key presser as well. Um, I do have the full version, but they do give you a free uh, trial. I think it's like 30 days or something like that. So you can try it out before you buy it. It's only five bucks. So if you really like it, it's actually worth the $5 for something that's pretty solid. So we're going to go ahead and, and set a hotkey for doing this. So we're going to say the start and stop is going to be, and so F3 is going to start and stop the hotkey. And what that means, it's actually going to start and stop the recording. And this one right here, we're going to set for F8. So we'll just type in F8 and then we're going to set that. And then we're going to go ahead and record our action. So we're going to go and hit F3. And we're just going to say we want to hit the E button, the E key, right? So E, 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 E. And then we're going to go ahead and stop this. So it's recorded and we're going to hit F8. So it says it's playing. So now it's playing. So all I got to do is be like, if this were it, so it's automatically hidden E. And depending on the game, you can also like in this game, you can just kind of go sideways and it'll auto click it. I mean, you can also use an auto clicker for this. This is just an example of how to use an auto key presser. This is probably not the best example. So when you're done recording, you can actually save your script out. So you need to do is click on edit script and then just hit that save script. So you can always load it later. So we're going to call this uh, my restaurant. And then you, I saved it. And you can always load the script again if you want to. Now to play it, we're going to hit F8. And then we can also stop it with F8 again. So, you know, in this game, you don't actually need to like i said you don't actually need to use the e key but if it's like a game like skyblocks where you actually have to hit the f key over and over and over that's a good app to use for those auto hotkeys or just or just use tiny task you can still do that too on top of that again i'm going to be linking some examples for mac users it's called like merga so you can see here it's called auto clicker mac automation utility do it's just a straight up auto clicker start clicking stop clicking it's just like op auto clicker for an auto key presser you can probably use auto key presser it's an auto key presser for mac so you'll want to check these out. I will link these in the description along with a couple of videos on how to set these up. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was super helpful for you to be able to figure out how to use these tools. So to review again, we have the OP auto clicker, which is linked in the description. This is great for just general auto clicking. I, I use this pretty much for everything, including staying uh, connected to the game. And then you've got the auto soft auto key presser. Again, you can use this for auto keys. You don't really need this if you have this or pullover. So auto soft is, is good. It's good alternative if you 
you just want a basic key presser, but I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, but all these other solutions, that's why I don't really use this one is it's paid. You can go and close that out. Um, Tiny Task is free and it does everything that Auto Clicker does um, for the most part, except you have to manually record yourself clicking versus this just being repetitive, you know, and then uh, and then you got pullover. And I think the, the only reason why I would ever use pullover over Tiny Task is pullover allows you again in full summary, you can record actions and then you can edit them. This one's super basic. This one's kind of in the in, in, the in between, but I use Tiny Task and these two. So I don't really use auto. I don't really use pullover as much except for when I have those actions where I just really want to control, like fully control what's going on. But all of these are linked in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you're new, make sure you got that bell on to get notifications whenever I post new vids. I'll see you next time. Peace.